My name is Walter Okol. I am the Chief Executive Officer of AgriSol Africa Limited. I'm also the co-founder of the same firm. Uh, AgriSol Africa Limited is a, a youth-led enterprise which is uh, specialized in agribusiness. We deal in seeds, fertilizers, pesticide, and crop protection related items. Yeah, why we establish AgriSol? AgriSol, uh, it's a short acronym meaning agricultural solution. We wanted to deal with the problems that was uh, affecting our farmers in the region. Uh, when we just began AgriSol, we realized that uh, much as the farmers have been doing farming for quite some time, there were little more that they could have done at which they were not doing. So we decided to bring in a very huge approach that helps to the farmers to be able to sort out their problems, both locally and with applied knowledges. Uh, AgriSol is located in northern Uganda, uh, Lao sub-region, specifically uh, its physical presence is in Lira City. And uh, the street where we have, it's called Olol Road. Uh, we opened AgriSol in 2017, in 2020, and uh, AgriSol has so far uh, lived over three years, but we are doing a little more unique items. Uh, what you are doing right now is uh, in line with uh, the soil health. We are trying to get solution that is affecting most of the farmers in relation to the health of the soil. We, that's we are talking about the fertility of the soil. So we noted that uh, majority of the, of the farmers would apply the knowledge of farming but they would still get very minimal output. And also coupled with the, with the challenges of COVID, uh, the Russia, Ukraine war, it realized, we realized as farmers, we were getting a little uh, challenge on, on inputs. As AgriSol is a big, a big input company, but we were also getting challenges of input supplies. That was not getting down to the farmers. So the scarcity created a, a lot of problems in terms of the price increase and other things. So what then we decided to do, of course, with support from our partners at Mundi Foundation, we then uh, came up with an innovation. The innovation was to deal with the soil health problem that was able to uh, bring in, uh, improve the fertility of the soil. Not only improving the fertility of the soil, these things also helps in uh, uh, water retention. As you're aware, we, we fully subscribe to UNDP development goals. Uh, this is in line with the zero hunger and uh, no poverty. So basically, uh, we realized that uh, when we deal with these first two uh, goals, the remaining goals can actually come through. So as AgriSol, we back backpack our, our strategies in uh, ensuring that first of all, we eliminate poverty. Then number two, also we minimize the anger issue, which is so common. Uh, when COVID and uh, when COVID and the Russia-Ukraine happened, we, we noted that uh, the food prices had increased. So when the food price increased, we, we suffered as farmers, we suffered in uh, whatever which was being produced was not coming to maximum. Each and every one acre of maize, ideally it's supposed to give a farmer about 25 bags of uh, sorted uh, grains. But then the farmer can only realize about eight bucks. So what we did was to come up with a solution. The solution was to make at least an increment of about 40% of what the farmer is getting right now. Uh, so number one is that we had to develop a simpler form a solution that we are calling a technology that we are calling Nipokase. So we did this in three districts. And doing this in three districts, uh, selected districts in northern Uganda and we strategically uh, position ourselves in Oyam, 
We did it in Holland, we also did it in Lira. Lira is uh, the metropolitan uh, town for all the Laos region, and it's also where we exist. Then Oyam is uh, a food basket for the region. Then we also had to annex it in Holland. So we, why we did this intentionally was to do a trial. This trial was to see how our technology can help improve the soil health. And we realized that this alone, if the farmer uses this say, local organic fertilizer, is able to increase his productivity by up to 40%. But besides that, you can only apply this once and you can be able to use it for the next three years or three or four more seasons. So we find that this is a, a long-term solution that should be able to address the food scarcity, that will be able to address the low income and also the, the in, income inequalities. We realized that the only thing that it would do better was to impact the knowledge. Now, the knowledge that you gave to the farmers alone can be able to push these farmers. Um, first, they can do it as a business. For those who cannot be able to do it, these farmers who we train can be able to do it for them and they get some little penny out of this. But also, uh, looking at the sustainability component, we also realized that this was the best way a farmer can locally use, first of all, to deal with the, the environmental content uh, issues and, and use the local available material, which in other words translate to uh, garbage and rubbish, but we then we can change those things into useful form. This then comes from the, the garbage that are being disposed. Instead of littering the environment, it can actually change into a useful form that can actually be applied in the garden. And once it's applied in the garden, then the farmer input or the farmer's output is, is improved. But also beside that, that the environment also is maintained clean. So we're actually dealing with so many things in just one single technology. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a matron council. I take a group of people to take a walk to your time and teach. I live in your home and I take. I get your mom here. I come to your house and I get it. I don't know what I'm doing. 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 Yomo yamatek. Ginana puny limoni, Omiya necha pola pola, Omiya necha kuna noni, Mier jobedi tek group, Mier pang porro, Mier o not a meyo bo fertilizer and yateke ti porro na do kena, kade yonge pang o porra wano pango do Omiya wati tek group. Ginakwany limoni, Omero necha pien na do hanuoni. Kare kum fertilizer wano ponyo wa meyo boni tijo kene ni yanga ber eto jo kene pera o maha ber eto bero wa wano bero kare kelo mi oda jo kene o yobo kaka na gendi aponi aye a mi oda chani mi ado hangi oni ngi chana tike ni tia ber ah so what we have done so far is that we have reached out to about one thousand five hundred and thirty three farmers this within just four months and this one thousand five hundred and thirty three farmers can compose themselves and say, yes, I can be able to translate this technology. So when we see the multiply effect of 1,533 farmers, we see that if we add about a year, almost we would have touched the lives of over 10,000 farmers. If any, each farmer can only reach out to five, we will go into about five or 10,000 10, farmers. So we think that this technology should be able to increase the productivity this technology should be able to give some uh, income as source of livelihood to the farmer. And this technology, for those who have taken this interest, skin interest, they should not be regretted. So we, we, we appeal to all the farmers. We actually gave this on a humanitarian ground as part of our corporate responsibility, but also a, 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 as, as an innovation that involves the youth and the, the young mothers who are out there but also, we also look at this in, in, in aspect of um, doing an extension service because uh, we, we, we realize that the only message that you can send to the farmer is when you do it in an extension approach, where you begin from where they are and you, uh, later on you realize that these farmers can be able to, to, to appreciate the knowledge when you give it to them from their own locality. 
we have so far da, done some several exchange visits we move farmers from different locations to go and see how their friends are doing and the, i can assure you that these farmers are very excited and they are able to to mark themselves and say that i think i have done it well but my other friends have done it way better than we have done so this this is an approach that for us as agri we are proud of Hello, Tony Olure. I am yeah, much town council. Kuno ana bere dang lead farmer me. Popira group. Ya bere yom matek me bini limu kan. Tu bora gina mane no kana ano na limu wara bere matek. Yani siya tu ni poro. Wia da doctor baloko. Tesha kono neno gina joy kan tia timu. No ni joy kan tia timu gina bere me kelo da melo bo. Dang binu wane mi ada akwa imu kene da he. We, we cannot forget that we, we had to make this possible with support from Alpha Mundi Foundation, our big partner. Of course, Alpha Mundi Foundation is implementing water and energy for food, which is our big, um, big partner as well. But with support which is coming from the NORAD, it's coming from Netherlands government, coming from USID, coming from GIZ, and all this has made this innovation possible as the courtesy from all our partners. Thank you so much.